Today, I will show you how you can create amazing visual effects with the help of AI and Runway's new Gen3 AI tool. How to use it and how you can take your own footage or your favorite video or image and turn it into a great visual effects shot, I will show you in this video. So let's get started. So actually, to be able to create an effect in Runaway, we first need to select our video, which we want to use first, and we need then to extract a still frame from it. How we can do that is that we load our video or footage that we either shot ourselves or use like stock footage or AI generated footage, and then load it into an editing program. This can be, for example, Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, and then extract a still frame from it. If you don't have either one of those options then you can also use a free tool called onlineconverter.com and there you can also extract an image for free. Either ways I really recommend that you install DaVinci Resolve in your PC, it's free and it's a really nice tool for editing which we also need later in the video. Alright great and now we are in DaVinci Resolve. I opened the project already and one of the footage I imported already is the footage that we will use for this tutorial. So as you can see here we just have chocolate milk poured into a glass. I think it's uh, great because here it's a static camera so it's even easier to blend it. Just keep that in mind that it's good to use a static shot where the camera is not moving or barely moving uh, or having a linear dynamic movement without the camera too much shaking or something because to properly blend it we need at some point to blend it with the other footage and it's uh, important to keep that in mind. Alright great so that's our footage and only thing we need to do is that we first drag it into our timeline and then select the frame. And I really like uh, this frame here where it's touching the bottom of the glass because here we can have a nice transition where before we have our old footage like this and then it's transforming the chocolate milk into something else with the help of AI, which is super nice. So I will cut my footage here first. Uh, just cut it one time and the end we could delete, but let's keep it for now. And then only thing we need to do is to export the still frame is that we go to file and then to export and then current frame as still. And then we can say here time, uh, you see the timeline, I exported it already a few times, but let's export it here maybe and just call it four, export. Once we have done that, we then have to open Runway. And once we are on Runway on the main page, we can then just click here on Gen3 Alpha and get started. Once we are in here, we can then select our image, which we will do quickly. I imported it already, so we just select it. And then we can see that we have here first and last option. And this is really crucial, like how you want your image to look in the end, your video. So what we need to do here is that we want to select first because we want to keep the footage that we had before and then just have AI uh, generating uh, the special effects afterwards. So this will be our first frame kind of, but we will then merge it in DaVinci with the other footage and blend it together. So actually to then prompt our thing is that we then have to use a prompt. And for this one, we will then put in a basic prompt which I prepared already. This is a static shot of a glass. The chocolate milk transforms after time into a strawberry milk and explodes with a lot of foam as the camera may, remains in a static shot. I repaired this already. Here's an important to note that we described the camera movement so that it should be static and not move like crazy or something. So this is basically the main thing. As you can see, we can also select here the time, so duration, uh, how it should be, like five seconds or 10 seconds. And then we can hit here on generate. A a apparently, as you can see, I have no credits left already because I recorded this tutorial before and there were some issues with like the microphone and stuff and I had to re-record and there are no credits left now. But I will show you the result, which I just prompted. So it's actually the same. Only thing I did is clicking here. And to show you, I will just open it assets and then I can also buy you the way to show you where your generative videos are and uh, how you find them. So you just click on the asset library and then we can have a look. So basically I will just find the shot really quickly. And yeah, great. Here we see actually the effect. So as you can see, it starts with our first frame, which was this one. 
and then it generates like this strawberry foam. Sometimes you need like actually more generations until you get a nice result. So I did that as well in some earlier tests, which I will just show where I also had a nice version. So don't, uh, don't get afraid that your prompt or something sucks or it's not good. It's more like the case that sometimes it needs more iterations to have a nice result. So as you can see here that here we have a nice transition like with the milk and the strawberry milk, let's say. <laughs> so I think this is a great effect like that the chocolate milk is then transforming into something else. And we can use this footage for sure. Only thing when you're happy then is that you then go here and download it directly and then it will be saved into your download folder. And then we will go directly back into DaVinci. And once we are back in DaVinci, only thing we need to do is then get rid of the old footage actually so we will just delete it and here we have our new video imported i just dragged it in and we see we have here the um the transition and which is great so we will just drag and drop it in here and then we can already see that we have a nice transition over here like we have the of, of footage that we had before over here then it pours in and then it goes smoothly in here. We could also like crop this footage here so that we have yeah, not a mismatch when it's switching here. This is because Runway is always exporting it in 720 pixels, which is a bit unfortunate, mm -hmm. but I think uh, for most of the stuff it works. Change the cropping here, which is about, I think 60 to work. Let's take the same value. And then we can actually see that we have a nice transition. And I think this works quite great and is a cool result. Of course, we can also use the last frame, which is also really cool. So we will just go again back to one way, one way gen free. Then we can here drop an image click and I prompted this image here in mid journey already. And we use it this time as a last frame because then we have total control how the image or final image should, uh, should end up looking, which is of course important for commercials that we have control over it. And then what we will do is of course we will uh, type in a prompt uh, again, which is a static shot in a commercial of a milk chocolate exploding and strawberries and chocolates flying around. Then we will choose five seconds here again and then click on generate. Okay, great. And this is our final result. This is what I achieved actually on the first try when I tried it in, my, in the video I already recorded and then it broke down. But I think you see it here, which is really great. I mean, we see the milk rising here, which is a great effect. And then we see we have our last and final image here, which looks really cinematic, I would say over here and yeah we see like also interaction with the milk itself which is great and i think this works and yeah looks visually great i would say i also wanted to show you a quick different way how you could also do it that just the background is affected and the, when you have a character for example or an actor that you shot in the front that it's not affected by it directly and that you can then compose it nicely that it works in the end so what you can do actually is i have this footage here which i shot for a previous video a few weeks ago and um, for this one we see already like i'm standing here with an umbrella and the background is here and of course we need to extract uh, like paint out myself here that we just have the background and then we can use it in one way to do that is i would just simply yeah use the ai generator fill in photoshop which is a really cool feature then we will select it and just use the lasso tool and then mask myself out here and then we will just click here on generate a fill and actually we don't want to fill it with anything else so we just click on generate and then it will paint out ourselves and just replace it with the background or trying to fill it with the background what it thinks the background is in this example and you see it works really really nice like you can barely see it here that i was standing here here it's a bit smudgy but that's no problem because we will composite ourselves back in and adding ourselves back in in the end so i think this is a really great result and we can use that and then only thing you need to do is of course to export the image here export it and then yeah choose here the settings it's okay with a jpeg and just hit export back in runway actually we will then choose again our image select it here first frame and then we will also describe the shot and here i wanted to have heavy rain so i just prompted something basic like static camera again and 
it is pouring heavy rain. So you see the prompt structure can also uh, be quite simple and um, Runway is already using that. Again, I prompted that already. Sorry again for the circumstances, but uh, yeah, here we see we have this nice heavy rain. Um, of course, it won't bet perfectly with uh, ourselves on the front because here it's really heavy, but I just want to show it as an example that also liquid simulations like this are working quite nice like um, that runway can do this stuff so we will just download the footage here again and then the next step is that we key out ourselves kind of that we extract ourselves from the background and luckily there's also two in runway and it's for free you don't need any credits or something for this so we will just go back to home i also explained this in a previous video but i will explain it quickly here as well so we go to remove background then we select our footage i did that here already but i will just Select the clip again. Then we are in here and we see we have our character here, which is me in this example. So I will just select myself to set a keyframe. And you see that it's already automatically setting a mask and trying to mask myself out. So sometimes we need to select multiple points so that it calculates more into it and just click on the areas that are not included there so far. And then you see when, when you are completely green, like your character, or your actor um, then it works and then you can see for the other and check the other frames if it's working you can also do some adjustments here like paint out stuff if you don't need it but i think for this example and tutorial it's fine like this so we will just go then to done masking okay great and then we can maybe use some feathering to smooth out the edges here that they don't look that ugly so just use a value of five maybe that's a bit better and then we go to export um, export it in a resolution that we had and then export video and then we can go directly back into DaVinci because DaVinci has a really great tool which is called keying so we can then because here you actually see that we are standing in front of a green background which is runway adding automatically and we want to get rid of it so what we want to do then is actually we create just a new timeline here quickly then we will import our clip uh, with the with our character and we will then choose the runway clip which we exported and which has a heavy rain inside and then actually what we can do is that we first key out the green screen here to do that we will use fusion but don't get scared of fusion it's really nice and easy to understand so um, for the keying so we will just select our clip go to fusion then we uh, press uh, shift and space and then search here for 3D Kia. Then we will add it and it's automatically added in here. And then we will just click on the pick symbol over here. Then we will pick the green color and we already see it's masking out most of the stuff. We see we still have a green edge here, but we can remove that quite quickly with just the display option, which we have over here. And then it will remove all the green edges that we had before. And this is basically all you need to do. Of course, it's not perfect. As you see, there are some smudgy edges. We could refine it even more here. But for now, I think this is fine <clears throat> to give you a sense how it's working. Of course, there are better keys out there, but I wanted to show it quickly to you in DaVinci so you, we don't not need to dive into After Effects or something for now. And then we will just composite our background inside there with the Gen 3 Alpha again and we see we are basically standing in front of it. As you can see the key is not working that great here. I can really recommend After Effects for this but um, yeah I mean we can also further refine it here a bit. All right great and this is looking already a bit better I would say and um, yeah this is basically what i wanted to show you of course like it needs better integration in the end but i think for a quick example how it's working like the workflow i think this is cool and uh, will get better with the time for sure in the future as well just a last thing to mention which is important like it's one way is quite pricey it gives, it gives you really great results and you can use it let's say for like a five second generations it's usually already like 50 credits and for 10 second generations it's 100 credits which can add up after a while it's like around 10 to 15 dollars depends on how many credits you want but for basic subscription also as well for the prompting especially keywords that you can keep in mind for your prompting structure is actually 
to use transform, emerge, levitate, rose, explodes, and dynamic movement. So give that maybe also a try and let me know how it works for you in the comments. Also, audit is great, but what you really want is to have a great base for your AI videos, which is of course with prompting and mid journey. And mid journey just offered now for everyone the mid journey alpha, so everyone can use it. And I brought out a video like a few weeks ago explaining a full guide on how to use mid journey alpha and how you can use it for yourself and how you get the most out of it. So definitely check that out here or here on the site. And as always, if you have liked this video or found it useful, please don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends and like the video so I can keep doing what I'm doing. And actually, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.